Hi everybody, I'm Khloe Kardashian and this is Princess True Thompson. Say hi. And, <laughs> and we are going to show you my makeup routine and some of my skincare routine. I'm gonna put you down so I can do this, okay? Mwah. Say bye. Blow a kiss. Mwah. Yeah. Mwah. So this is a witch hazel rose petal toner. I really think what sold me was the packaging, to be honest. <laughs> That's how I started. But I love the way it smells. I love how light it is. So I tone, especially in my T-zone, because I am so, so oily. I love this Elta MD skincare. I know Courtney uses it. So I put this on my face, my hands, my neck, my chest, because this is where we all show our age. I like to let that sit in for a second and then I like to moisturize. The Drunk Elephant, love. And it's whipped and I love how whipped it is and it's really light. Oh, thank you. Is that for me? No. No? Okay. So what I like to do when I'm just wanting light makeup, I take my moisturizer and I also like to put a little bit of foundation with it and kind of create my own BB cream. I love this stick. It's a Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. This brush I love, it's a MAC Kabuki brush and they don't make it anymore. All the good things are always discontinued. Since becoming a mom, I literally, this is what I do, but I literally locked my front door or my bedroom door so she can't get out, so she's kind of trapped. And normally I allow her to have free reign because I have baby gates because then I chase after her. So if I'm doing this and I kind of hear if she's silent for too long or I don't know, if I don't hear her for too long, of course. So you run after her. So I've had to learn how to do makeup really quickly and not do too many wet things. Cause then once it's wet and if I have to run after her, it's gonna set really weird and then I'm gonna look super blotchy. And then you always take it down to your chest area. I think that's what a lot of people forget. I've always been super good at taking care of my skin. My mom, I think, instilled that in all of us at a really young age. We've always had a skincare routine. I think I just pile on the oils more at night than I normally would because I'm super aware of fine lines and wrinkles and just hydration. And I think after a baby, you kind of get depleted of hydration and also lack of sleep. You're not taking care of yourself as much as you used to. It's more about the baby. After I use my Kabuki brush, I go in with a damp, sponge. Truzel has to go take her nap now, <gasps> um, but she does. She's definitely my makeup assistant. She loves to hand me brushes. She eats my sponges, right? You love pink Q-tips. Okay, thank you. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Give mom a kiss. Oh my gosh. I think it's nap time. Say bye. Say bye. Mwah. I really love KKW's concealer. I am red always around my nose. I don't know why, I hate it. So I always go under my nose and I like to go, I have like these weird shadowy areas. So I like to try to erase them. Who doesn't? The funny thing is, I think we all definitely have our own different techniques and routine. Um, I I think I just kind of am more of like, I'm in awe of all of their techniques. Like whenever Kylie does a makeup tutorial, I am watching that shit and I am like, what, how do you do that? Like I'm so captivated. Hers and Kim's, even Kim's with the body makeup or this, I'm like, this is such a art and it's so much fucking work. Kendall, it's like, woe is me, you're so fucking naturally pretty. No one feels bad for you. So what, her technique is putting some fucking mascara on? I don't know, she's just too cute. And Courtney, I think is a little too natural for me, like with all of her products. I sometimes wanna feel a little sting to my <laughs> night care solution, so I know something happening, I need to make sure it's really going down to my pores. But I like to find a happy balance, so to each their own. So I love Kylie Cosmetics loose powders, the soft pink and the translucent. I'm gonna mix the two together. And I'm going to put this on the sharpest point. I don't know why girls always make that 
like tucking their top lip down face, but it works. So now I just have translucent powder and I like to, now this is where the brush comes in. I am gonna leave under my eyes. Now, contour. Um, this is a MAC palette. I don't know how long I've had this. I swear I've had this for, can I say 10 years? Cause I think that's maybe not no sanitary, but I haven't died yet. I'm gonna actually use this one and mix it a little with this dark one for my jawline, especially after baby. When you have had a baby, you're working on losing weight and you're still not losing that much weight in your face, you just feel so big. This, I swear, is like a magic eraser. I'm just praying. And literally, I sit here and I'm just like, please go away, come again another day, please. Or just don't come, like you can leave. And I just keep going. My dad paid for Kim and Courtney to take like a makeup class when they turned 16 or 18, something like that. And Kim used to always make a three. So she would take like a bronzer or contour. At the time, I think it was bronzer. We didn't really know about contour. And she would go here, here, this is your cheekbone, and here, it's a three. And you do it on each side of your face and you mirror that. And I, no one paid for me to have a makeup class, if you can't tell. But anyway, I would take tips and tricks from my sisters and I always remember Kim saying, just make a three. So one of my favorite things is nose contour but this does stress me out a little bit because I do in person and how cameras reflect and light, everything looks different. So sometimes I will contour my nose and in real life, I think I look so good. And then in some photos, I look crazy. Now this is like basically con nose contour for dummies. So take my color. Now you wanna go from your eyebrows, like that's where the start, like the bridge of your nose is gonna start. So just follow that line. Your face, basically, it's like a painting with numbers if you follow all the lines. So funny, Kim loves to play this game where she guesses who did my makeup that day because everyone has their own technique. And I do know that some people make my face look different. I think that's really cool. Um, I mean, it doesn't offend me, I just think it's what makeup is supposed to do. I'm gonna use my Kylie Cosmetics Coco Collab that I did with her. It's very cute and pink. I love pink, if you can't tell. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow color called True's Mom. And I'm gonna match, so where my nose contour was and where you see that arch, I'm gonna put this all in my crease. This is our third collab, actually. And the first one was just lips and it was so fun working with her. We both respect each other in the business world and I pick all the names and the shades and it's awesome. So all of these were basically centered around True, all these names, because she's the star of my life. The name True came from actually my grandfather and my great grandfather. His name was True. My grandfather's middle name was True. Um, but I didn't know that because he passed away when my mom was 16. And so at dinner one night, when I was saying I was looking for baby names, MJ, my grandmother, said, you should name the baby True. And I was like, oh my gosh, I actually love that name. Um, and I love that there's like family history, there's a story behind it. And so True Thompson is born. Need a coffee break. This is just a lot of work. I'm gonna just line, more of like a cat eye smudgy, it's not perfect. I'm gonna take, what color is this? Truseldorf, I'm gonna take, that's True's nickname, Truseldorf. Scott actually gave her the nickname. Scott is pretty much where everyone gets their nicknames from. I don't know why, but I wanna pull my eye like this. I'm just gonna go halfway, and I like things with a red undertone because it really makes my eye color pop. I am going to put some color on my inner corners. I'm gonna start with the yellow, and then on top of that, I'm gonna use Must Be True. It's a really pretty sheen, shimmer. And just a little pop, like right where my tear duct is. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit, I'm gonna use my finger for this. I like to use either my ring or my pinky. I'm gonna use my ring finger. Just gonna very lightly just swipe. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna start my under eyes. I'm gonna use Trusel Dwarf again. I always have long nails. I've had long nails for 100 years. Um, I'm a long nail type of girl. Everyone told me, oh, when you have a baby, you have to have short nails. This is gross, you can't take care of your child. If I could wipe my own ass, I could wipe my child's ass. I mean, I'm actually looking at hers, so it's a lot easier. But anyway, this is a Surratt Lash Curler, and I only got this because everybody else had it, but let me tell you, it makes such a difference. Lancome Hypnos Doll Lash. Lancome, they did something there. This is the one thing I will not leave the house without is mascara. I go to the gym with mascara, it's mascara. So that's with mascara, obviously without, and I love the difference. I try to wear only false lashes if it's a photo shoot or a red carpet or something special, but day to day, I just use my own lashes. So now I'm gonna sweep away all my loose powder that's been baking. We film about six days a week um, and I get my makeup done pretty much every day. Uh, but when I don't, my makeup can literally take 20 minutes. I think we just feel really comfortable getting our makeup done knowing, I mean, stuff breaks out in this family all the time. So you just always wanna be cute and prepared even in trauma or tragedy, we wanna look good. I'm gonna do my brows. Honestly, pink packaging just makes me so happy. So I always start from the middle of my eyebrow down. I've never had a thin brow 90s moment, but I think that's because I learned from my sister's mistakes. Then I love an eyebrow gel. Again, I don't know why I do, just because everybody else does. I mean, I know it keeps your brows in place, but like, where are they really going? Now I'm gonna get to my bronzer. So this is a Tom Ford bronzing powder in gold dust. And I'm gonna put this just on my forehead to bronze me up, but to give me a little highlight too, so it looks more natural. I have really big cheeks. I have like these balls on my cheeks. My mom says people pay for them, but I don't know if my mom is supposed to say that because she's my mom. So I go to the ball and I go up. And I always do a second coat of top mascara. Oh, and I almost forgot to take off these specks now that everything has dried. You take a spoolie brush, any brand, the disposable ones, doesn't matter. Clean, obviously. I'm gonna go on my lid where all those specks are and you just Flick them away. Now going back to my moles, if I, I have this one, that one. This is a Lancome, like an eyebrow tint pencil. This is in number three. It's a light brown. And I just go over it. People get upset if I don't show my moles. I don't know why people care. Lip liner is my jam. I'm gonna use KKW today in Peach too. Then I'm gonna take my Coco Collab and I'm just gonna take a little with my finger and I'm gonna take the lighter one, which is uh, allergic to bullshit. And I'm gonna put this just on center. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna do some highlighter. Now, I'm normally not allowed to be trusted with highlighter because I will put it anywhere because who doesn't like glitter and sparkly things and, and they hide imperfections. Literally, if I'm out in a bathing suit, even you cellulite, put some fucking glitter on it. You do contour, blush, highlighter. Think of it in three sections. Always blow the brush. I'm not sure if that's a technique or out of habit. And then this. I don't know why, but this just makes me so happy. I think this is really sexy when you have this glow. Then for the finale, just a clear gloss. Again, I'm gonna just dab it in the middle. Oh my God. Kayla's not gonna know who did my makeup today. She will never guess. 
So I bought this house from Justin Bieber and before that wall, that was a wall of sneakers and it was just cubby holes that he put sneaker after sneaker after sneaker in. So I said, huh, okay, that's a guy's dream. I'm sure to have a wall of sneakers. A girl's dream would be what? To have a beautiful makeup vanity in their own bathroom. Thank you guys for watching me do my everyday makeup and now I'm gonna go shoot Keeping Up and I'm gonna go meet my sisters.